Hey everyone! I hope your Valentine's Day was fantastic. I hope it was you got to spend your time with your loved one and had all a very good night. I hope you did. Anyways, I'm still decorated for Valentine's Day behind me. Um, this will probably be the last video that you see that in. It'll probably change. But anyways, today's video is going to be my December slash January favorites. Keep in mind that it's two months of favorites, that this video may be a little bit longer than my usual favorites are, and that there is a lot of products sitting beside me right now. So hopefully we can get through this fast enough and hopefully this video isn't too long, and hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I hope you get some tips and some ideas on what some things that you might like. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start as usual with beauty. Uh, my first couple of items here you guys have seen, but they have been absolute favorites since I've gotten them. The first one is the Rimmel London Apocalypse Lick Lack Lip Lacquer, and I'm dropping things, sorry. Here's what that looks like. As I said in my last video about this, it is an amazingly pigmented color, super creamy, just amazing, and I is as I've said, I do not own a lot of red lip colors, so I wanted to pick up the red one. It is definitely a very bright, bright red, and it is definitely very pigmented. Um, I found that it does stain a little bit, so you have to be careful when you are applying it that you don't get it anywhere else on your face. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing thing. I'll show you the applicator. I'm not gonna swatch this because I know it'll stain my hand if I do. Here's the little applique. It's just a little sponge applique. It's got like a, like a little dent in the brush itself so that you get lots of product but as you guys I'm sure can see by the brush it is a very bright bright red um, however I really really like it I have worn it a couple of times already in this in my YouTube videos so yes I love this product um, all right moving on my next favorite for uh, January actually this one is uh, this is the Revlon lash potion by glow luscious it is the volume and length mascara and this is in the color blackest black and I've heard so much about these on YouTube already uh, so I had to pick it up when I had gotten my gift cards and excuse the lighting I realize it's going in and out black dark and white um, it's kind of late here and I think that um, the light from the outside and my my uh, umbrella lights are a little like I don't know, they're like clashing or something. So that's why it's doing that. I'm sorry about that. But I think it's gonna continue to do that throughout the entire video. So anyways, this is an amazing mascara. Um, as everybody always says, the bottle is beautiful and it is. I love the colors and on the uh, actual bottle itself, but it's a really good mascara. Um, as I've said, it's kind of in between the Rocket Ma Maybelline Rocket Mascara and the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. It's like right in between those two. It's like, Fluffy enough, but not too fluffy, but it's not quite as lengthening as the Rocket Mascara is. So, but it's a really amazing mascara. I highly recommend that one. The next product here I've also talked about, and this is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. Looks like this. You guys have probably seen it on commercials and stuff. It's pretty popular as far as I know for commercial wise. I haven't seen too much of it on YouTube, but I think it's because it's a fairly new product, but it's really, really neat. And if you are shiny and oily like me, this is like the perfect foundation. Um, so it's got the shine free core in the middle there. If this is gonna focus, it might not because it's dark. Oh, there we go, it's a little focused. So you can see that like lighter color in the middle, which is the shine free core and then the foundation on the outside. Super amazing foundation. Use it lately pretty much every time I put makeup on since I've gotten this. It's really awesome. And I highly recommend it, especially if you are oily or um, shiny in any way. And my lighting is really messed up. I'm realizing that. I'm really, really sorry about that, guys. All right, so moving on to some more beauty products. My next beauty product is actually a brush, and this is the e.l.f. smudge brush. And I talked about how I really wanted to get a smudge brush, um, and I really, really have been loving it a lot for doing my eyeliner and stuff. Just smudges it in and just makes it look really like together and, I don't know, it's, I guess it's supposed to be like the smoky look, right? But I just feel like it, may, it just makes everything look like it's supposed to be there. You know, there's no harsh lines, there's nothing, and I whoop, just threw my brush over there. So anyways, it's a great brush. I will say so myself. All right, a couple more beauty products here. 
Uh, the next one here I got actually in my last top box, and this is the Moisture Moisturize Total Moisture Facial Cream by Benefit. I have been using this every time I get out of the shower, because um, my face I find can be kind of drying after the shower. Uh, so I put this on my face every after every time I shower, and it just moisturizes my face. It feels really nice. It's a uh, nice consistency, very creamy. Very nice product, as you can see, it's just a white product, nothing too fancy about it, but it's really nice, and I actually really, really, really love the jar. It's got like this, um, it's a glass jar, but it's got these like cute little like dimples on it. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's really cute, and I like it. All right, so, great product. Another beauty product, and you've also seen before, but this is in a different scent, and um, this is the uh, EOS EOS hand lotion and the berry blossom scent. I usually use the um, green one, which is cucumber melon, I think, or something like that. Um, I really love that too, but I, I've been try I wanted to try this out when I got my gift cards, and I really, really like this lotion a lot. It's just amazing lotion super like moisturizing. It's great for just throwing in your purse because it's thin and it's easy and you know, you're out and about, you want some lotion, you want some moisture, or especially when I'm at work, I use this, um, cause it's just amazing lotion, really and truly. Um, I have another lotion in this, coming up in this, uh, video though, so stay tuned for that one, cause that's an amazing lotion. Um, all right, another beauty product, but this is for your hair, and this is the, um, um, our organics, our organics by Numi Argan Oil. Uh, really great product. I got this with my um, straightener and my curling iron, and I use this every time I go to straighten or curl my hair, and it's helping my hair seriously feel so soft. Between this and my next product that I'm going to show you, they have been making my hair like silky soft, super amazing. I've been loving both this and the next product. Um, I don't know much about this. Um, I know it's like non-greasy, um, it's an oil obviously, it's got vitamin E in it, um, let me see, uh, helps frizz, helps repair any split ends, um, leaving your hair soft, silky, with a brilliant shine, and I just, I've been loving this, like I said, I use this every time I go to style my hair basically, and it's amazing. So the next product that has been making my hair amazing, and that is the Soap and Glory Glad Hair Day Shampoo. This stuff is super amazing. It smells so good, and then it just makes your hair so, so super soft. Like, I love it. Um, I straightened my hair today, but literally I've been finding that my hair domus doesn't even need straightening anymore. I don't know if it's between, I don't know if it's between both these, the, the shampoo and the argan oil. It could be both, I don't know, but it's been making my hair like almost straight and just super silky soft and I've loved it and this is wet because I just showered and it's still wet. <laughs> but yes, I highly, highly recommend trying the Soap and Glory Glad Hair Day shampoo because it is just... Like I said, it smells amazing. Um, the back of this actually says it, it smells like a fruity, fresh fragrance. Um, but yeah, it definitely has a bit of fruit, a bit of floral in it. It's really, really pretty. Um, and it's not too strong, which as you guys know, I like. Um, and yeah, so super amazing shampoo, gotta say. Another product from Soap and Glory that I have been loving the, this past month, and that is the Hand Food Hydrating Hand Cream by Soap and Glory. And this, is another lotion that I have been using like crazy, uh, besides my um, EOS one, which I use, like I said, just in my purse pretty much. But this one I use after I shower, I use when I get home from work, I use before I go to bed. I use it all the time. It is a super amazing moisturizing lotion. Super, super moisturizing. Um, I don't know what else to say, but it's just an amazing lotion, honest to God. I highly suggest both Soap and Glory products. Um, I'm gonna be trying more Soap and Glory products for sure, because these two are fabulous. And if you watched my last video, you know that I got a pat, like a gift set. I don't know. Not my last video, sorry, my video before, it was my Christmas one. Um, I got a gift set. I had two other products in it too, which are amazing products, but I think out of the whole set, the shampoo and the hand lotion have been my absolute favorite. Right, that is uh, pretty much all the beauty products. I have two other kind of beauty products. Um, these you guys would have seen also in my uh, Christmas video, and these are the 
Isgo nail design art de decorating nail polish like pens. Um, they come with eight in each. This one is a glitter and this one is just like your normal colors. It's, I don't know, it's like your normal nail polish but in like, like primary color type thing, right? Um, super awesome, I have to say, that I tried them um, quite a bit recently. Um, I actually did this heart with them. I don't even know if you guys can see that because it might not focus, but it like seriously almost like a perfect heart on my nail using these. Um, I'll show you one of them just so you guys can see what they're, uh, what the actually end looks like. But I got, my husband bought me these for Christmas, so I don't really know um, how much they were or anything like that, but I do know that he got them from a place called um, Bits and, Bits and Pieces, I think is what it's called. Um, I also seen that you can get these at like, as seen on TV places. But here's what the little pen looks like. There's two different colors on either side and each end has it. Um, you can also take this part, you can untwist these. And uh, so like when you're done with these, you can uh, reuse them. So you take this out and then you can pour your own nail polish into it. And it's super awesome, honestly. But the pens are just great. So you have, um, I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, there's a nail polish part where you can actually just put this specific color let's put this the right way where you could just put this color on as a nail polish you guys can see that there i don't know if you guys can see that because i can't put my hand up to show you but yeah there's the nail polish actual part and then you take the end that was just a twist and then you pull this and there's an actual pen on the end too super cool and this pen is so so fine like you probably can't even see it from here it's so thin so fine and it just makes like the best details um, I've been loving these so much, like honest to God, I can't say enough about them. I highly recommend these if you uh, like to do uh, nail details on your fingers. Um, they make your like your day details so much easier than just using even a striper. Um, super awesome, I love them. All right, so my last like beauty type favorite, you guys have also seen in my Christmas haul, which I will be doing a review on these, hopefully in the spring. I'd like to do a review on this in um, when my mom's here, because my mom has super long hair, and I could show you guys what each like item does. So, but my favorite for lately has been my straightener. This is the Numi straightener. Um, so it looks like this. It looks like your typical straightener, right? Looks like that. All the all the like programs and stuff are right in there, like the on off switch and the temperature switch. Um, so here, this is the box here. So the Numi Couture straightener. Um, this I I talked about in my um, my Christmas video a lot more into detail. But like I said, I will be doing a review on this, so you'll hear more about it. But it's it was. It's a fairly expensive straightener. However, I got an amazing deal on it thanks to Graveyard Girl. And I talked more about that in my Christmas video so you can go over there and uh, look at it there, but I will link her channel. I highly recommend if you wanna spend the money to uh, get this. Um, I don't know if, Gra um, what's her name? Graveyard Girl. I don't know if her coupon code still works or not. If it does, um, I will put it down below for you guys anyways. But uh, if you do wanna spend the money to get it, I highly recommend you do so because it's definitely worth the money anyways because it's an amazing straightener. So the other item that I had gotten with this, um, I haven't used too much, so that's why it's not in my favorites video, but it is my curling iron and it has five interchangeable heads. It's like, it's a really amazing curling iron, I will say that for sure. Um, but I just haven't used it much this month, so that's why I didn't want to put it in my favorites. But uh, as I said, I will do a review on both the straightener and the curling iron, but it might not be till around spring, because like I said, I want to do it on my mom's hair. And uh, if she's okay with that, obviously. Um, mom, if you're watching, let me know in the comments if you're okay with doing that with me. Moving into some more like random-y type favorites. Um, I have two candle favorites this month. My first candle favorite is a little odd because it's actually a Christmas candle, but I had gone to Target when they were doing the like 70% off all Christmas stuff. And when I smelled this candle, I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. It smells amazing. Um, this is the Nature's Wick um, Natural Candle with Wooden Wick, uh, which is really cool too, and I'll talk about that. So the scents in this are Holiday Wreath, Christmas Time, and Holiday Wreath. So there's three different layers that smell like real good, I have to say. You guys, this, okay, so I've obviously been using it, so it's kind of cloudy, so I'm sorry if you can't even see this. 
But yeah, anyways, so the top one was green and then there's the middle one is red and then the bottom was green. So yeah, Christmas wreath, Christmas time, Christmas wreath. Super amazing candle and the wick is super cool. I don't know if you guys have ever had a wooden wick before, but this is my first wooden wick candle because I usually find that the wooden wick candles are pretty expensive. But this is actually a really cool candle. Um, it crackles when you light it just to make it sound like it's an actual like fire. Um, like a campfire type thing and it's really cool. Um, I do highly recommend as usual with most candles keep it away from like paper or anything obviously that will catch on fire easy because I do find that the um, flame gets pretty high on this and I don't know if it's because of the wooden wick or what exactly but it is a super amazing candle. I love these and I'm pretty sure Target comes out with the wooden wicks like for every season or something like that so if you don't like Christmas time scents or you don't want Christmas time scents because obviously like Christmas is over but uh, these are actually pretty good winter scents too they're not just all Christmassy smelling scents but they are really good the other candle that I have been burning this past couple months is Bath and Body Works white barn cranberry woods candle this is just the little guy um, I don't have it in the big form I usually try to get the smaller ones just to try them out and I've really been liking this um, it's a nice winter smell it's not really Christmassy it's just a nice winter smell it smells warm and like cranberry and again, I don't have any idea what scents are in this, but I will link the Bath and Body Works um, uh, website down below to this exact candle if it's still on the website and you can find out what the scents are. But yeah, it smells really good. It's just very warm, very like cozy feeling, um, but it does have a bit, a bit of cranberry smell in it, but it's really, really nice. I do like it a lot. All right, we'll move into fashion favorites, which are sitting right in front of me here. Uh, two scarves that I've been absolutely loving. Um, you guys have seen both of them, I believe, in videos. Um, the first one is this one, the polka dot one that has like small polka dots and then like it goes into big polka dots. It's really pretty and when you get it like all like around your neck and stuff like that, it just looks really neat with the two different um, polka dot like sizes, I guess. And it's really, really long scarf. Uh, so you can double it up like crazy. Um, and it's super, super soft. That's something about Forever 21. Oh yeah, I get this is this is from Forever 21, by the way. <laughs> um, something about for Forever 21 scarves is they're super, super soft. And because they're lightweight, I don't find that my neck gets really hot or anything like that. So it's super amazing. I love this scarf. The second scarf that I have here also from Forever 21. Most of my scarves are actually from Forever 21, believe it or not is this pink and blue and orange and white scarf. Um, this is also a very big scarf. I believe though it's more of a diamond shape where this like most of these are like rectangular. I think this one's more of a diamond shape but it's really pretty and I love how at the end it's just really thin like that like small and then it goes like to really big in the middle. Um, but yeah, it's again, really super de duper de soft. Like this is even softer than this one is and I love it so much. Um, I'm not normally a big pink person, but this just screamed like I need that. Like it's just kind of like that country feel to me. And I'm really, really love like the country, like antique type feel. And that's what I kind of got from this when I saw it on the computer. So I had to pick it up. It looks really awesome. And with this, I usually wear, this uh, sweater, like crocheted sweater thing, I got this from American Eagle. Um, I actually got it for Christmas, but I picked it out at American Eagle. Um, and it's just really, really nice. Um, it's obviously not like super warm or anything like that, but it's just really pretty to just throw over like a plain t-shirt or a tank top and it's really nice. Um, I love the like V detail right here, it just looks really pretty. And it's a really nice thing. So I with our nice, like crocheted sweater. And so with that, I like to put this scarf and I just think they complement each other so nicely. You guys can see that. Looks so good with the green. I love that so much. I think it's just amazing. So anyways, those are my fashion favorites for the past two months. Obviously it's not like the only thing I've been wearing or anything. I've just been really, really liking those and wearing them like a lot in the past two months. All right. Um, moving into, we will do my food favorites last because as you guys know, I love trying new snacks. So you know that I have a ton of new snack favorites. So we'll move into something that I haven't really been doing too much of, but I do have a couple of app favorites. My first app favorite is called Ink. And basically what it is, is like you take your photos or anybody's photos, uh, make sure you get permission. 
Um, and you can like decorate them with like, like right now it's Valentine's Day stuff or there's some happy birthday ones. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like here. Um, so it's called ink and then you can, you're supposed, you can actually pay for these cards or you can just like save them to your iPod um, and just have a nice picture for your profile picture or your background on your iPod or whatever. Um, it's just really fun. I really love doing stuff with pictures as you guys know. I love photography so I love like editing photos and just playing around with them. So this has been an app I've really been doing. And another app that I've been playing a lot, and I've been playing this a lot at like lunchtime uh, from at work, and it's called Free Basically Fall. the same as um, like Candy Crush or Bejeweled. Um, it's just Frozen themed. Um, you guys know the movie Frozen. I actually haven't seen that movie yet. I know. Oh my gosh, I have to see that yet. But anyways, it's basically the same as that. So you just uh, match up the colors and. Um, you go on the levels and so on and they get harder and all that type of thing but it's really fun and being that I haven't seen Frozen yet but I do really want to see it but I love like winter theme stuff so uh yeah I just I've just been playing it like crazy I don't know why I just have between this and Minecraft I've been, like been playing those two like crazy speaking of Minecraft that is another favorite of mine um here's what the front page of the this game looks like in case you're speaking wondering. of Minecraft my brother I love him so much. I have to say that right now. Thank you so much, Jordan, because um, he got me Minecraft for the computer um, for my birthday. And I was like ecstatic when I got that. I love Minecraft. I love watching videos on YouTube. I love playing it. I love everything to do with Minecraft. Um, literally, I have become obsessed with that game so much since he's got it for me. We play, me, me and him play on our server. Um, like pretty much every weekend. Um, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go into telling you uh, what my server is or anything like that. I don't know if I'm ready to have just like random people playing on my server. Um, but it's been really fun. Me and my brother just been building a house and caving and building stuff. Um, it's just been really, really fun. I love that game. I think I will always love that game because you guys know I've talked about this game before. Um, I have it on my iPod and now I have it on the computer. So yes. Um, all right, let's move into the rest of my favorites. I was gonna talk about song favorites, but I haven't been really listening to music too much. But there um, is one song that I kind of really want to talk about before I move into my food favorites real quick. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know that Jamie Lynn Spears was doing music again, uh, or not again, but just doing stuff in public again. Um, apparently she's a country singer, and I just found that out like, I don't know, beginning of January, I guess like that. And she just released a song called, um, what's it called? How Could I Want More? This song is a beautiful song, literally so beautiful. If you guys don't know who Jamie Lynn Spears, she's Britney Spears' sister, but to me, she's a lot prettier and a lot more talented in my case. Don't hate on me, don't unsubscribe to me because I said that, but I just wanted to say that anyways. but. This song is just beautiful. I will put it down below um, as a link so you guys can go listen to it because you really should. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's a, basically it's a love song, but it's it's just a beautiful song. I can't say much more about. Besides that, I've been listening to other songs, but nothing that has really been like sticking in my head because I found late like this month I just went by so fast because I was so busy. I didn't really have time to like listen to music or anything like that, but. Anyways, that song for sure is a beautiful song and you guys definitely should check it out because it's it's just beautiful. Anyways, so now we move into my food favorites, which is a lot. So here we go. My first food favorite of the December, January time. Um, these are Tic Tacs and these are in the flavor pink grapefruit. Um, if you guys don't know, I love sour things. So my mother-in-law picked these up for me actually for Christmas. And I have obviously, as you can see, devoured the whole thing. But look how big this container is compared to like my hand. The Tic Tacs never come in this size. Why don't they all come in this size? I don't know, but this is these were really, really good. I loved them so much, and I will definitely be getting them again. So if you like sour stuff, though, you should definitely pick these up because they are really, really good. And a little bit addicting, too, I will say that. All right, another food favorite here. These are the uh, Goldfish Grams, and these are in Vanilla Cupcake. Um, 
I don't know, they're like little cookies. I guess everybody probably knows what gold, with, uh, goldfish are, but these are really, really good. Um, they were new at the time that I had gotten them. I think this was like beginning of December I picked these up, but these are really, really, really good. Another addicting snack too. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but these are really amazing. It basically like a, it's like goldfish, but like in a cookie type form, but they're small obviously, right? So, but really, really good. All right, more favorites. Another food favorite. Uh, this is the Cliff Bars um, and Crunch Granola Bar. Sorry, Cliff Crunch Granola Bars. And this is in the peanut butter flavor. You guys know I love peanut butter. Um, uh, these were on sale at my grocery store. And I, Ingrid talks about these a lot. And I know I've, I've had them before. Uh, but they were on sale in like the big box. There was 10 bars in this box. But literally super amazing. Um, they are an energy bar, but I don't really found I didn't really find that I got like a huge kick at from them or anything like that. So it's not like Red Bull or something like that. But uh, they were really really good, and I just usually ate them like one um, bar before work just to give me a little bit of kick. I guess I don't know, but I really just mostly like the flavor more so than the actual fact of it being an energy bar. But they were really really good. If you guys are looking for a on the go type um, granola bar, this is a really good one. However, they are not really that cheap. Uh, that's why I don't get them until usually they come on sale because they aren't really that cheap. Uh, but anyways, another item. Uh, this is actually a very, very new, new item. As far as I know, it only came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but when I saw them at my, my grocery store, I was like, yes, I have to try those. Um, these are the soft baked oatmeal cookies and this is in the flavor banana and chocolate chunk. And these were really, really good. They're individually packed, so they're great for your lunches or just, again, on the go uh, for a good quick snack. Um, these, obviously, these are by Quaker, um, but they were really, really good. Um, I like that they came individually because then I felt like that I only ate one a day or one so every so often like I didn't eat a whole bunch of them in a day type thing um, and they are a fairly big cookie and they're nice and soft and the flavors are great and um, there was another flavor these came into but I can't remember what it was it might have just been chocolate chip I don't know this is an oldie this isn't something brand spanking new but uh, they were on sale at my grocery store uh, probably about a month ago and I kind of like got addicted to them a little bit. Um, these are the toaster strudels in the apple flavor. I love apple flavored stuff. Um, I don't really know why, I just really, really like it. I like the like spice, the apple and spice type thing. And these are really, really good. A good, again, a good, just pop them in the toaster and run type snack um, or, you know, in the, for breakfast really quickly. Uh, really, really good. Obviously you get like this little packet of icing with it too that you can use or not use, that's up to you. Um, whether you want a little bit of extra sugar or not. But these are really, really good. Like I said, I know they're an oldie, so everybody's probably tried them, but I was kind of addicted to them for the past like Another favorite, so. and this is also a new, new product. As you guys know, I love trying new snacks. Um, however, I believe I bought these mid-December, maybe end December. I think it was after Christmas time I bought these. And these are the Brayton Cheddar Bites. Um, they're like mini crackers, uh, but they're really, really good. And again, I love cheese, so I had to get the cheddar. They also come in a couple other different flavors too. But they're really, really good. Again, a nice on-the-go snack or just when you want something to munch on while you're watching the Olympics or while you're watching your favorite TV. Last two favorites. Uh, both of these I usually, I've been trying to eat a lot healthier. I really have been. Um, so I, I've been trying, I don't like guacamole. I'm sorry, guys, but I know everybody does like chips and guacamole. Well, I do like healthy chips with cottage cheese. And some of you might be going, ew, that's disgusting, but I love cottage cheese. I mean, I remember back when I was younger and my mom used to diet all the time. She would, uh, there was this one diet that I actually ended up doing with her and all you ate was like um, chips, like healthy, like, um, like tortilla type chips with um, cottage cheese. And then I think we used some sort of melon, like a grapefruit or like a, honeydew or something like that. But anyways, um, I love that. I love cottage cheese. I love eating it on its own. I love eating it with healthy chips. I like eating it with like anything. I love cottage cheese. So anyways, I've been trying to eat a lot healthier. So lately I've been buying these healthier chips. They're in like the healthy, like natural organic aisle at my grocery store. The first one is called In Snacks Sea Salt Pita Chips. 
Um, I also got another flavor in the pita chips too. I can't remember what it was. It was like salsa or something like that. Here's what they look like. So these are supposed to be healthier for you. Um, it does say 90 calories, 90 calories per eight chips. So that's pretty good. And there's 14 grams of carbohydrates, which isn't that bad for a, a healthier chip type snack. And they're really, really good. Um, the flavors are actually really nice. They're not like lightly flavored so you can barely taste it type flavor but they're flavored enough that they're like still healthy i guess right and the other chip that i've been eating with my cottage teeth um these are by uh londonberg um and these are rice chips uh, this is in the flavor santa de barbecue i think these are like a mexican chip or something like that here's what they look like these are also really, really good too. These are um, a little more not, they're not as healthy as those pita chips. Um, these are 200 calories per 12 chips. So a little bit more unhealthier for you, but they're supposed to be like organic and all natural and they're wheat free. So they're good for like gluten free people and stuff like that. But they're really, really good and they did taste really nice with my cottage cheese. So yeah. All right, so if you are still with me in this video, because I'm not really sure how long this video is, um, thank you for staying with me. I hope you guys enjoyed my fa my De December slash January favorites. Um, if you guys, uh, if you guys have favorites, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you do a video, leave a link below my video here. Um, and I will definitely watch it because I love watching everybody's videos. And I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.